Now there was this elderly man named Joseph, who was from the family and city of King David, the Judean town of Bethlehem. This man was trained in all knowledge and wisdom, and had been made a priest in the Lord's temple. He was skilled in his carpenter's trade, and he took a wife as other men do, fathering four sons, whose names were Judas, Justice, James, and Simon, and also two daughters whose names were Asia and Lydia. In due course, the wife of the righteous Joseph, a woman who was bent on holiness and all that she did, passed away. But that venerable man Joseph, my father according to the flesh, and husband to my mother Mary, went off to his business and practiced carpentry with his sons. Now my blessed, holy, and unblemished mother Mary was already twelve years old by the time the honorable Joseph had become a widower. Her parents had dedicated her to the temple when she was three, you see, and for nine years she lived in the temple of the Lord. Then, when the priests recognized that the saintly and God-loving virgin was coming of age, they talked it over with one another. Let us try and find a just and pious man, they agreed, to whom we may entrust Mary until such time as she should wed, just in case what normally happens among women should take place within her while housed in it. For should we fail to do this thing, we might bring God's wrath down on ourselves. So they promptly sent word and assembled twelve elderly men from the line of Judah. They wrote out the names of the twelve tribes of Israel, and the lot fell upon the elderly, devout, and upright Joseph. Now when at last the priests were resolved, they said to my blessed mother, Go with Joseph, and remain with him until it's time for you to wed. So the righteous Joseph accepted my mother and took her away to his own home. And Mary found the lesser James heartbroken and downcast over the recent loss of his mother. So she looked after him in his father's house. And this is why Mary is spoken of as the mother of James. From that time forward, Joseph left her at home and went away to his carpenter's shop and practiced his trade. And after living in his home for two years from the time that he took her in, Mary was fourteen years of age.